A hedge fund has infiltrated Hollywood. Our movie guy, Eric Childress, is here <laughs> with a lowdown. George Clooney, not no. happy about this, but no. to back up the story, Daniel Loeb, who runs the hedge fund, Third Point, wants Sony to spin off its entertainment mm -hmm. division. Why is Clooney so up in arms? Well, Clooney, you know, he's a sort of a true hero of the arts, if there ever was one. And he's looking at, you know, a guy that's clearly just interested in the bottom line. And that's fine. You know, in all capitalistic ventures, we're fine with people making money as long as they make money the right way. And, you know, Daniel Loeb, obviously, after seeing a couple, you know, failures this summer by Sony, which has not really had a very good summer at the box office, is sort of looking, you know, sort of pushing to maybe make some changes and maybe, you know, have hold some people responsible for it when he really shouldn't. Do you think Clooney will win out? He's I think he's a popular he, guy. I think he will. I mean, this, I mean, you look at the the summer. All the studios have had ups and downs. We're going to be talking about one in just a second here. But you look at Sony. You know, they've not had a great summer. But just before the summer, seven of the last eight films were hits. So you know, including Skyfall, which made 1.1 billion dollars at the box office. So this summer they've had a couple of misfires, but they were not exactly bad investments. They just didn't perform. Well, here's what happened at the box office last weekend. Coming in at number one, Two Guns. That's the Denzel movie. Mm -hmm. That was the topper at 27 million dollars. Wolverine at 21. The Smurfs. Two, it's 17 million. There's a Sony, Sony. flick. Mm -hmm. The Conjuring, which you loved by Warner Brothers. Despicable Me 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of those are going to be hits. You know, even Smurfs 2 is not going to do as well here in the States as it did. And that, but that's exact, Smurfs 2 is exactly the kind of film that Daniel Loeb is looking for Sony to make because the first one did $563 million worldwide, so it just seems like an easy investment when this one is kind of underperforming. Coming out this weekend, a lot to look forward to. Elysium. Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters, out on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Were the Millers also debuted on Wednesday in Planes by Disney. I want to talk about yes. Disney mm -hmm. because everybody's all weirded <laughs> out that the Lone Ranger lost money. No yeah. surprise on our show. You've talked about this extensively. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, did, let me ask you this. Did John Carter bring down Disney it last not. year? It did not. You know, they had Avengers. They've had a number of other hits. Lone Ranger is just this film that's kind of festering right now because it's the last movie they released. You know, it's just been sitting there for a month. People are talking about its failure and whatnot. But they had Iron Man 3. They have, also have the biggest film of the summer. So, you know, we talk about Sony and the sort of ups and downs they had. Here you have Disney have the biggest film of the summer and the biggest disappointment of the summer. So they're going to be just fine. So it might hurt the bottom line in the stock momentarily, yeah. but there could be a bounce They back have Star Wars in a couple of years. They're going to be just fine. Fine. Star Wars, not so shabby. Not so bad. So which film wins at the box office this weekend? What would be your pick, Eric? I think the winner this weekend is going to be Elysium, and that's you know it's probably good news for Sony, even though this is uh, a much more expensive film than District 9, the director of the film, so it's going to have to make a lot more for it. So the people in Sony, particularly Daniel Lowe, will probably be looking at the grosses of this. I think it's probably going to do somewhere in the mid-30s this weekend. Hey, how's Warner Brothers hanging in there? Warner Brothers had a, pretty, a very good summer. I think Pacific Rim is sort of their only real disappointment so far, but The Conjuring has been a huge success. <laughs> success, uh, Great Gatsby, Hangover 3. They've had a, a lot of success this summer, so Warner Brothers is doing just fine, and Disney Plains is going to do okay for them. Where the Millers is going to be a nice surprise for Warner Brothers this weekend. I think only Percy Jackson is going to be the only one that kind of disappoints at the box office this week. Thanks for coming on the show as always, Eric. Thank you.